Hi, welcome to the Yoga Studies Institute. I'm Nicole, and today I'll be guiding you through a one hour yin yoga class. This class is for all levels. In this class, we're going to be holding our poses between three to five minutes each. So I do recommend grabbing some props, some blankets or pillows, yoga blocks or bolsters. Even if you have some big towels, you can fold them up. Um, they're not absolutely necessary, but they will help you stay in the poses for the extended period of time more comfortably. So yin yoga helps target different parts of the body than the muscles as in a more active class. So it targets the myofascial tissue, the ligaments, the bones, the joints, and it helps to promote a healthy flow of energy in the body, helps detox the body, and also promotes flexibility. So let's start with our first pose. So we're going to start in tabletop position. And we're going to do threading the needle pose. And we'll hold this pose for three minutes each. So here, let's start with our right arm, stretching it up towards the sky, and then threading your right hand under the left shoulder, bringing your right cheek to the mat, extending your left arm out. Here you don't really need any props. Just relax into the pose, coming into stillness. Two and a half more minutes here. So here we're putting a light twist. Coming into the present moment. See if you can feel where your energy is running, where it's suppressed. Maybe closing your eyes, just watching the body. Maybe you can hear your breath, feel the cool air coming in through the nostrils as you inhale. Feel it flowing into the body, feeling your body relax and the warmer exit through the nostrils as you exhale. Maybe you could hear your heartbeat. Just try to watch and listen to the body. Thirty more seconds here. And slowly take them out. Bring your left hand under your left shoulder. And then slowly coming back to tabletop. So here we'll just go into child's pose for 30 seconds for our rebound pose. You can relax your arms.
So in between the poses, we take rebound poses too. Just reset the energy a little bit. And coming back to tabletop position. Now we'll go with our left arm, raising it towards the sky and threading the left hand under the right shoulder, bringing our left cheek to the mat, extending our right arm out, settling into the position, coming into stillness. Connecting with the sensations of the body. Maybe you can feel how this twist is untangling those side channels. Bringing your energy to the central channel. And by doing these things consciously, by doing your yoga practice with this motivation, it's even more powerful. When we consciously stop ourselves from acting or speaking or thinking in a negative way with wisdom and compassion in our mind. It's much more powerful. And same when we do an act of kindness with this wisdom and compassion. It's also more powerful. That's how we stop our mind from turning and get better and better at looking at the world with love and compassion. Halfway there, one and a half more minutes to go. your mind is wandering, just gently bring it back, back into the stillness, into the present moment, just watching the energy in the body. Noticing the different sensations. And we're going to start to slowly come out, bringing our right hand under our right shoulder and coming back to tabletop pose. Curling our toes under for a rebound pose, we're going to come up into Tadasana, mountain pose. Just bringing our hands to the side, relaxing our shoulders. Connecting with the breath, just watching, watching any changes in the body, maybe in your energy. And for our next pose, we're going to do dangling pose or forward fold. So here we'll be going forward with our arms and just letting our spine hang loose. You can bring some blocks or some pillows if you wanna let your arms lay on them. 
Or you could also bring your legs all the way up to the wall for support and then also have the pillows in front. And we'll be here for three minutes. So just get comfortable, find what works for you. You can have a light bend in your legs. Now we're stretching the sides of the body. Reversing the blood flow a little bit. Just watch and see what comes up for you. Our body holds different emotions in different parts of the body. So throughout the poses, just watch and see where you feel your energy, what emotions are coming up. One more minute here, you're doing great. If your legs are a little tingly, that's completely normal. But if in any of the poses you feel any pain or sharp pain, just come out of the pose and meet us in a rebound pose, Shavasana or Tadasana or child's pose. We're going to slowly, very slowly, vertebra by vertebra, up. And come into Tadasana for your rebound pose. You can move your props to the side if you need to. And then just get comfortable bringing your arms to the side. Closing your eyes, noticing what feels different from the last time we did this rebound pose. Do you feel a shift in energy? And then we're going to come down to the mat. We're going to go into what's called a yin, a caterpillar pose or dandasana staff pose. So here you can bring a block or a pillow under your bum and then even under the knees here if you'd like. And most importantly, I think, is under the bum and then something for you to put your forehead on as you go forward. So again, we'll be coming into the pose. See if you have enough props. Maybe you need to position them differently. I'm going to put one under the knees and grab one more. Blanket here. Just 
Okay, this feels good. We'll start, we'll be here for four minutes in this pose. So coming in to stillness, getting comfortable. Coming into the present moment. Starting to connect with the sensations of the body. This is your time to really connect with your body, observe your body. Letting everything else go for now. Just coming into the present moment. Remembering your motivation to bring our energy into this central channel, this channel of wisdom and compassion and love. It will help us reach ultimate happiness. You might have heard of the Sanskrit word klesha. Klesha means negative emotion. So when you're having a negative emotion, see if you can identify it. See if you can figure out, is it in the left channel? Is it in the right channel? How can you change your view? Bring your energy into the central channel when you're having it. So if at any point you want to go deeper, or you feel like you've gone a little too deep, just move your props or add more props and then go back into stillness after that. I'm going to try to go a little deeper. Last 45 seconds here. Staying connected with the sensations of the body. And slowly coming up again. Moving any props you need to the side. And for a rebound pose, we'll go into Shavasana for about a minute to again reset our energy. Noticing how the body, how the energy in the body is changing. Okay, 
Okay, so from here we'll go into figure four position. So you can bend your legs and we'll start by bringing the left foot over the right knee. So you can stay here or grab behind your right thigh. You could also use straps if you need to, or you can bring your hands over your shin here. And again, just listen to your body. When you feel a nice stretch, that's the right spot. Don't try to go too far. It's better to make progress little by little. It'll last longer that way. If we stretch too far, then we'll need time to recover. So coming into stillness, we'll be here about two and a half more minutes. And try to keep that light smile on your face. This releases the side channels at the face. And here you can notice how that instantly benefits you. If you take off the smile, notice how you're breathing. And then when you make the smile, notice how much easier you can breathe. Again, if you'd like, keep your eyes closed. It'll help you focus inward. Keeping the mind in the present moment, letting everything else go. It's always good to motivate ourselves and rejoice about what we're already doing here, planting these beautiful seeds through our physical practice, bringing our mind to these beautiful ideas from the Yoga Sutra. And also in a way we're purifying our speech because by not speaking, we're not planting any bad speech seeds. And slowly release your legs. And then we'll take a rebound about 30 seconds here in Shavasana. Just relax the whole body. See if you can feel as the energy is redispersing through the body. And then again, we'll come on to the other side, bringing our feet in towards the bum, bringing the right foot over the left knee. Okay, so now you can stay here. Option one, option two, grabbing behind your left thigh, or you could use a strap, bringing it over your thigh, or third option, clasping over your shin. 
settling into the pose. Just relax. Gravity is doing the work for us here. Connecting with the breath. Maybe listening to the heartbeat. Maybe hear the vibrations of the body. Seeing how quiet you can get. Thirty more seconds here. Doing great. slowly lowering your foot down, bring the legs out, and we'll take a quick rebound pose here. Relaxing the body. Seeing if you can notice any differences in the body. Maybe you can feel the energy flowing up. Okay, and then we're gonna come up for our next pose. Puppy pose. So here again, we're starting from tabletop position and here, you can bring maybe a blanket here for your chin or your forehead. We're going to be sliding the arms down and bringing our chin or our forehead to the mat. See what feels good for you. And again, settling into the pose. If you want to go even deeper, you can bring your hands together over your head. Take which option feels good for you. I'll be here for another three minutes and 30 seconds.
again. Connecting with the sensations of the body. So two more minutes here. If you feel like you want to go um, not as deep, you can bring your forehead to the mat. Or if you want to take that second option with bringing your hands behind your head. One more minute here. And release. release the arms and come on up to tabletop position, moving your props to the side. And we're going to take a reverse Shavasana here, coming all the way down to the mat, bringing your arms to the side and bringing your right cheek to the mat. Just relaxing the body, noticing any new sensations coming up. And coming up, we're going to go into Cho Squat Pose. So here, we're going to sit back on our heels and sitting back on our heels, tucking your pinky toes under. So three minute hold here. Just relax. Coming into stillness. Closing your eyes, bringing that light smile to the face. This is a really beautiful pose to stretch, stretch the feet. Our feet support us so much throughout the day. 
getting us to where we need to be. Getting us to the places where we can plant beautiful karma, like in our yoga class, or by going to make somebody a nice cup of tea, or just by walking over holding the door for somebody. This is the time to give them a little love. Help renew the energy, releasing any stagnant energy there. One more minute here. Almost there. You guys are doing great. Only a couple more poses to go. See if you still have that light smile on the face. Maybe the smile is getting bigger. Hopefully. Okay, and so to come out of the pose, we're going to just gently bring our hands down, coming back to tabletop, and just tap your toes here. Just releasing that energy, redistributing that energy. Great. So for our next pose, we're going to come onto our back and do a twist, a supine twist. Coming onto the back, bend your right leg, place your foot on the left leg, then grab your right knee with your left hand, raise the right hand towards the sky, inhale, Exhale, bring that left knee to the left side. If you have a pillow, you can bring it here if you need to. And then the right hand to the other side of the room, to the right side. Turning to the left, if you need to grab some props, you can do that now and then settle in the pose. We'll be here for about three minutes. Coming into stillness, coming into the present moment. Watching the energy flow in the body. I'm trying to untwist the side channels here.
You're doing great. Almost there. And slowly coming back to center, releasing the body to Shavasana. We'll be here for about 30 seconds. Just relax. And then we're going to switch to the other side, bringing our left foot to the right leg and then grabbing our left knee with the right hand, raising our left arm towards the sky and twisting over to the opposite side. Three minutes here. Closing the eyes. Coming into stillness, staying in the present moment. Letting everything go. By staying in the present moment, try to watch your mind, your body, the type of seeds that you're planting. Relaxing, letting gravity do the work for you. Keeping that slight smile on the face. We're almost there. Keeping focused on the object. Keeping focused on the sensations of the body. That's what is the only thing you have to do right now is to let everything else go. Pay attention, connect with your body. Releasing the leg, coming back to center, we'll take a rebound in Shavasana. And then we'll go into our last pose. Just 
relax, see if you can notice any differences in the body. Watching the sensations of the body. Okay, so for banana pose, stretch your arms all the way up and stretch your feet down and then we're going to walk them over to the left side. So your arms are facing to the left and so are the feet. You should look like a banana from overhead. So we're really going to stretch those side channels. So once you feel a nice stretch on the right side, you've reached the right spot in the pose. And just relax. We'll be here for another two and a half minutes. Are there any emotions popping up? Where do you feel your energy flowing? Are we trying to open up that right side channel here? Loosening it. Twenty more seconds here. And slowly coming back to center, release your arms down, relax the whole body. Do a quick rebound in Shavasana, just relaxing, letting the energy redisperse. Just watch. Where do you feel the energy? Maybe one side feels lighter than the other. You can even actively do that when you can identify the side that the thought is coming from when it's not coming from the central channel. You can go ahead and stretch that side, loosening that side channel, releasing that energy out. All right, let's stretch the other side. Stretching our arms overhead, stretching our legs long, then walking our feet over to the right side and bringing our hands over to the right as well, coming into banana asana on the opposite side. Stretching and loosening that left side channel now. The Ida channel. 
or the moon channel, the channel of ignorant desire. Noticing the sensations of the body. Noticing how that left side expands as you inhale the cool air through your nose. And how the body relaxes as you exhale the warm air. Releasing any stagnant energy stored there and bringing new energy in with every inhale. Thirty more seconds here. And slowly start bringing your feet and arms back to the center and releasing back to Shavasana. For our final Shavasana, we'll be here for about two minutes. Just let the whole body relax. Letting the arms and the legs hang loose to the side. Releasing any tension between the eyebrows. Loosening the corners of the mouth. Relaxing the jaw. Letting the whole body all heavy, just melt into the mat. Taking a moment here to rejoice about all the good you've done, all the good seeds you've planted through doing your physical yoga practice today. Through bringing your mind onto wisdom, where our world is coming from, and compassion. Planting beautiful seeds with awareness. And slowly coming back to the breath, bringing yourself back to the space. Maybe wiggling your fingers and your toes. Getting 
giving yourself a nice long stretch. Coming on to your favorite side. Slowly come up to sitting position. Bringing your hands to your heart center. You can keep your eyes closed. And we're going to send out one big, beautiful ohm together, taking a nice deep inhale. Uh, may all beings be happy, safe, and free. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today.